Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install wooden shears in Minecraft 1.13.2. This is a very simple mod that just allows you to get wooden shears in Minecraft. It's actually a SBM, which stands for Single Block Mod. It just adds one thing to Minecraft and that is wooden shears. Pretty simple there. First though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much that we actually host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So again, if you want an incredible Minecraft server, literally the best in the business, go check out Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into getting wooden shears installed. This is a very, very simple thing to do. You want to go to the second link down below, and that is going to take you here where we need to click that File tab there. You see that? Once you're here, just click that File tab right there. Once you click that File tab, it will take you over to here where you want to make sure you're downloading the 1.13.2 version of the mod. As we can see, it is 1.13.2 there. So we can go ahead and click on the gray Download File button on the same line as the game version 1.13.2. Go ahead and do that, and it will open up this. Now, if you're on Google Chrome, it'll do something a little different. It'll open it in the bottom left, right? But nevertheless, whether you're on Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome, just make sure it starts with SBM and ends in .jar. As we can see, ours starts in SBM and ends in .jar, so we can go ahead and click Save File on Mozilla Firefox, and on Google Chrome, we can click Keep in the bottom left. Nevertheless, once we've done that, we're not quite done downloading just yet. We need to go to the fourth link, third link, third link down below, and it will take you here. This is our Forge tutorial. It shows you everything you need to know about getting Forge, but I'm actually going to go through this in this video. So we want to go ahead and just click on this Download Forge button here. See this? So just click on that Download Forge button where it will take us off to Forge's official website. We just need to make sure that this is 1.13.2, and as we can see, this is in fact MC 1.13.2 there. If it's not and it doesn't say MC 1.13.2 there, no worries. Just click on the plus icon over here and then click on 1.13.2 under the 1.13 version. Once you do get it to say MC 1.13.2 here, just go ahead and click on the installer button under download latest. It will then go ahead and take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop, don't click anything on this page. No, your download is not ready. Up in the top right, you see this countdown? One, now once you see that red skip button in the top right, click on that red skip button. Do not click on anything on this page other than the red skip button in the top right. Once you've done that, it will open up this right here where you want to make sure it starts with Forge and ends with .jar. If it does, we can save the file. If you're on Google Chrome, it's going to be in the bottom left of your screen. Again, just make sure it starts with Forge and ends with .jar. And if it does, you go ahead and save the file or keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on my desktop, I have two files. I have SBM, Wooden Shears, and I have Forge for 1.13.2. If these are on our new desktop, no worries, don't freak out. Just click on the little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen. It's in the top left of my screen, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon there. Open that up and then type in it Downloads, exactly like this. Then you have a Downloads folder here. Click on that Downloads folder and it will open up right here, where you want to take 1.13.2 and Wooden Shears. They'll be in your Downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just of ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we want to start with Forge. Just go ahead and right click on it, then go to Open With, and then here you should have Java TM Platform SC Binary. If you do, click OK. If you don't, well, what do you do? And what if you clicked it because you had it and it still didn't work? Well, no worries, I've got solutions for you. If you don't have Java Platform SC Binary at all, or even if you do, go ahead and start off by running the how to install the Java Development Kit, specifically downloading and installing the Java Development Kit using the link in the description down below. This will walk you through everything you need to know to get the Java Development Kit up and running. I mean, it goes through everything here. So go through that tutorial and then you should be able to open up Forge. If you can't, we've still got yet another solution for you and this is the jar fix here. It has helped 34,000 people repair their jar files. So go here, download the jar fix, run it and you'll be good to go. You'll finally be able to again right click on Forge, click on open with, 
Select Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. Then you'll see this Forge Installer open up where you want to click on Install Client and click OK. At this point, there's no reason Forge shouldn't install unless you've never played Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods or anything like that. So make sure you go run Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods. If uh, this doesn't work, however, most likely you're seeing successfully install Client Profile Forge just like we are. Go ahead and click OK. And now we need to get Wooden Shears installed. This is very simple. Just go to the top left for me, again, the bottom left for you, that little Windows icon. Click on it. This time, though, we're going to search for Run, R-U-N, exactly like that. And then you have this, the Run Desktop app. Click on the Run Desktop app there. And then right here in this little, like, search box thing, we want to type percent, A-P-P, D-A-T-A, percent. Percent sign, app data percent sign, exactly like that, and then click OK. Then it will open up our roaming folder here, where we should have a .minecraft folder. And in our .minecraft folder, we should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I do if I don't have a mods folder? Ah, it's okay. Don't freak out. Calm down. All you got to do is right-click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. See that mods folder there? Then open up your newly created mods folder, and then drag SBM wooden shears that you downloaded into your mods folder, just like so. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, but don't go slamming that play button right away. Hold your horses, it's okay. What we need to do is click the little green arrow next to the play button here, and then you should have a forge profile. If you do, click that and click play. If you don't, however, no worries, don't freak out. Just click the three lines up here in the top right. Go to launch options, and then in launch options, we need to go to add new right here so click on add new you can name this whatever you want I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com why am I doing that because that is the IP address for the best Minecraft server in the universe we've got factions survival skyblock all custom all incredible with over a hundred players online every single day so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP it'll be the best Minecraft server you've ever played on I guarantee you that but nevertheless let's go ahead and change our resolution you don't have to change your resolution I'm just doing it so you can see in game and then we need to click on this drop down box here next to version. See where it says latest release? Click on that. And then you want to find release 1.13.2 dash forge. Right here it is. Now, if you have multiple of these versions, just click on the one with the highest number. For example, 100 is higher than 90. So we will be going with 100. Click on that and then go ahead and click save. Now we can come back over to the news tab. Click on the little green arrow next to the play button. This time we're going to select the play.breakdowncraft.com profile because that's the one we created. Under where it says play here, you should say 1.13. 13.2 forge ours does so we can click play and now you're finally open up minecraft 1.13.2 with wooden shears installed but also forge installed and yeah it's pretty simple and pretty easy once we're on the minecraft main menu i will show you not only via the mod mods tab but also by going in game and creating some wooden shears that wooden shears is in fact installed so here we are. Let's go ahead and click on the Mods tab. And there it is, SBM Wooden Shears. If we go ahead and jump in game, just jump into this random survival world here. I'm going to go ahead and actually jump into Creative, and I'll just show you that Wooden Shears are in fact there. If they're not in the Creative menu, we can actually craft some, which is no big deal. But I think if we just do Game Mode Creative, we'll be able to see that they are in here if we search. So Wooden, yes, there they are, Wooden Shears. We've got all sorts of them. The item names are a bit weird, but if we go ahead and take it, we will be able to go back to survival real quick. Right like so, and we should be able to, yep, as you can see, mine all sorts of leaves with them. There you have it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials and Minecraft content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, and I am out. Peace.